This is an example of a first order linear differential equation. We have y prime plus 3x squared times y equals 6x squared. And we recognize that form because we have y prime plus something times y equals something else. And those two somethings are functions of x alone. So specifically, we focus on the one that's multiplied by y, and we've called this p of x. The reason we focus on that is because we need the integrating factor to solve this problem. And the integrating factor is e raised to the power of the integral of p of x dx. So we have e to the integral of 3x squared, or e to the x cubed. Now what do we do with this integrating factor? What we do is we multiply it on both sides of the equation. So we'll have e to the power of x to the third times y prime plus 3x squared e to the x cubed times y equals 6x squared e to the x cubed. And it looks like we've gotten more complicated, but it turns out without even having to check, we know based on how we chose that integrating factor that the left hand side will condense down to the product of the integrating factor and y and the derivative of that product. So that will always happen as long as we choose i using that formula. And then the right hand side is what it is. Now we integrate both sides. The left hand side just drops off the derivative and then on the right side we have the integral of 6x squared e to the x cubed. And that integral looks worse than it is. It's really just a simple u substitution problem where if we let u equal x cubed, du equals 3x squared dx. And so when we make the substitution, 6x squared is 2 times 3x squared. So we'll have 2 e to the u du. And you can verify that if you need to. But once we get to that point, integrating is fairly simple, we just get 2 e to the u plus c. So if we come back here and replace u with x cubed, that's what we get for the right hand side. So we have e to the x cubed times y equals 2 e to the x cubed plus c. Notice again very carefully that the plus c occurs when we integrate and that's important because now when we solve for y and we divide both sides by e to the x cubed, we get 2 plus c over e to the x cubed. Or we could write this as c e to the negative x cubed, if that's easier to read. A common mistake to make is to forget to add the plus c when you integrate. And then if you divided both sides by e to the x cubed, you just get y equals 2. And then some people would add a plus c at that point, but that's too late. So make sure that you are careful and the plus c originates at the integration step. But otherwise, this one's fairly straightforward. You need to do a quick u substitution when you integrate. But other than that, the process is very similar to the previous example.